Michela. Hey, Michela. Hey, Michela. <laughs> so good. Okay. Um, the stories we tell. It, it it hits me, and I love I love the structure, Kurt, that of the suffering that was done to us, mm. the suffering that we have done, and then the suffering in living in the now and the not yet. Mm-hmm. And like when you were talking about Wendy and the stories she tells, like we're living in our stories, whether we know what those stories are or not, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and. I think being hospitable, like being hospitable, these things are, have to be done in mm-hmm. such like practicing them, engaging them in, in as much as we are able. Mm-hmm. But like being hospitable to the suffering, and we can't do it alone, like invite your friends into this party. Mm-hmm. But as we're hospitable to it, to know our stories better, we have to acknowledge the suffering that was done to us. And like you say, Kurt, you say like m- many of us are like, why bring up the old stuff? Why bring all that, but let that resurface. But it's like, it all builds on each other because then when we know our stories more accurately mm-hmm. and we know our coping skills, then that third suffering comes from, turning away from those coping Mm -hmm. skills, which Mm -hmm. those coping skills are, they are, those grooves are diehard, right? Like they're. Yeah. Yeah. They're tough. They're really tough, which is why it's, I mean, this is why community is such a big deal um, because, uh, as difficult as it is for us to turn away from those coping strategies, we need people who can say, yep, this is hard. Let's, let's do this again. Let's keep trying again. Right. Right. Let's keep trying again. Cause is it yep. serving you well? Like, no, I don't, right. I don't think that's serving me well. Right. Yeah. It's like when we, we talk, I talked to you guys about this before Bono talking about the band, mm. you know, with, without mm. the band, you know, to, he he talks about how um he always felt like prince was the single greatest pop writer of all time mm-hmm. but he didn't have anybody pushing back on him didn't have anybody mm-hmm. to bounce things off of it was just all him so he would have two songs that were genius and 30 songs that were just kind of and put them all out there because it, and it juxtaposed that to he's like you know I, and he he talked about this because the question was asked have you ever thought of leaving the band Hmm. and you know these guys knew each other for so long so much of their lives but he's like that's what has made us great is this Hmm. pushing back on each other and this you know yeah yeah pushing back and and it's so like we we live in such a a a world where it's so kind of dichotomous like if i have to push back that means that we can't be together if we disagree we can't be together right right so so it's pushing back you know, while be while being committed to staying in the room, right? Yeah, right, right. Because I, I mean, the parts of me, you know, my my story is that, you know, anytime somebody's either angry or anxious in the room, especially if it's directed at me, then this, you know, bad things are going to happen. And so you work really hard to just diffuse all that, right? Mm-hmm. And so the whole notion of somebody wanting to disagree with me strongly and yet still, and the, but at the same time, they still want to stay in the room with me. Like to this day, I have, it's, it's very hard for me to, for that to compute with yeah. me. Um, you know, in and my it family. it seems as real as rain, right? It's like. Oh, oh, totally. I mean, yeah. like I, I mean, one of the, uh, it's funny. Um, my colleague Courtney Morrison, where you know we we work together in our practice, her experience with anger is very different than mine. She's very comfortable with anger. Perfect. perfect. And I'm like, like, <laughs> what the heck, right? And so there have been times 
when, you know, she's been a little mad at me about things. And I'm like, quite comfortable. I'm, I, I am trembling in my boots, right? Like I feel, I, you know, I feel like I'm four years old, right? And she's like, what's, what, what's going on? Like, I'm, I'm just mad. And I'm like, what do you mean you're just mad? No one is able <laughs> to be just, just there's mad. No just. There's no just mad. You have, if you're, if you're mad, if you're a little mad, it means you've gotten your lightsaber out. I'm about to be divided in half. It's, it's, yeah. it is the, it is the strangest thing. And you're going to yeah. leave because you're mad and you're. Oh, right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. And that is uh, the that, third that, suffering, right? That is the, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And so it's been really helpful practice for me to uh, grow in my attachment to my connection to someone who um, I, I have, I have grown to become increasingly comfortable with like knowing that it's possible that things could happen or whatever. I mean, right. this doesn't happen. This doesn't happen commonly. Um, on the rare occasion though, that it's happened, it's, uh, you know, and, and we, we talk about it. We're both aware that we're both aware that there are certain things like sadness. Sadness is like my best friend. I like, I could do sadness all day, every day. Courtney, not so much. Oh, it's see, no, no, and not, that's not, not, so so not so Not so much. Yeah, we all yeah and i'm like what what's the big deal it's just that's sadness it's not i'm like, I'm like <laughs> yeah you know what's the big deal it's just anger yeah right exactly <laughs> exactly yeah 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 and so you know th that's the thing right i there's a certain suffering that takes place within us as you were saying amy because we have these experiences with these particular emotional states developmentally and we construct fairly complicated narratives about this as a way mm -hmm. to protect ourselves. But right. in the same way that we're doing that, we're really, we're carrying a certain suffering within us. Right. In my fear of that. Right. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll share this super quickly. Like one of my, as you're talking about anger, like if somebody changes a plan, now we could talk about this in length, but I have to like calibrate. Like, even if I like the new plan, I'm like, alert, alert. And I think, okay, that doesn't come from that comes from trauma. I mean, and as uh, some level of trauma. Yeah. Yeah. And when I'm in that place, it is not the glory of God. I am not aware of God's delight in me. I am going to like danger, danger. But it's like we don't learn that stuff until we recognize what's been done to us, what we do. That's, and so, that's right. Ugh. That's right. That's right. Because then we can be more intentional about it right yeah you mean more intentional about it i mean i found that to be true in my marriage i found that to be in my you know relationship with my close friends we're going to be we're going to take these things seriously and we're, we're going to like live on purpose with this stuff and right. um yeah it's good yeah. hard work yeah it's good hard work yeah and I'm, I'm really i'm really grateful for this in in some respects as much as the topic of suffering is kind of like the cornerstone of this to some degree. Really, it's a kind of like a pivot point in the book. In many respects, it's pivoting. Mm -hmm. Like we think, oh, this is this is the topic, and we say yes, but we want to enter into it in order for us to turn mm -hmm. toward what mm -hmm. we now. Now we have a sense of what it is. Right. Now, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. By appealing to what came before it and doing the work of what comes after it in Paul's text. Yeah. Awesome. Good. Can't wait to pivot. All right. <laughs> Very good. All right. All right Thanks, guys. you guys. This is great. All right, guys. This is great. Yeah. All right. Love you. See you next Love time. You.